Good, happy Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Politics with Riley King, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Gardner rejects call by congressional delegation to step down from Trump Election Commission. A fired-up Secretary of State Will Gardner Friday flatly refused demands by the four Democratic members of the state's congressional delegation that he stepped down from President Donald Trump's election integrity commission after the panel's vice chair questioned legitimacy of last year's Senate rates. The cost of recovery after the storm. Hurricane Irma will make landfall this weekend in Florida. Following the destruction in Houston left by Hurricane Harvey and preceding Hurricanes Katie and Joe's Friday, President Trump signed a $15.3 billion aid package for those in Houston, a city of $2.3 million. Internal estimates say the cost could go as high as $190 billion. As cleanup begins, over half a million residents have already applied for federal assistance, but only about 17% of Harvey victims had flood insurance. This series of storms could put a tight squeeze on FEMA and the National Flood Insurance Program that is already deep in debt. Steve Ellis, VP for non Partisan Budget Watchdog Group Taxpayers for Common Sense says there are always to migrate ways to migrate the cost of the storms, including raising insurance rates and attracting strings to disaster relief. He said. Governor Baker urges Congress adopt bipartisan health care fixes. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker is urging Congress to look for bipartisan solutions for health care. Baker joined a group of Republican and Democrat governors testifying Thursday before the U.S. Senate Health Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. The Republican governor noted that Massachusetts already has the highest percentage of insurance residents in the country at more than 96% and is working to improve across. He says Congress could take several steps from helping stabilize the insurance market to encourage younger people to get insured. Baker says he supports the so-called individual mandate, which requires most individuals to have insurance. Baker says con Congress could help drive down the cost of health insurance, particularly the cost of prescription drugs, by ensuring the availability of genetic drugs and letting public payers negotiate prices. Trump on Irma. We never seen anything like this. President Donald Trump re 
treated his warning that those in the path of Hurricane Irma need to get out of its way in remarks of his cabinet at Camp David on Saturday. Trump said he approved the emergency declaration in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Puerto Rico, and U.S. Virgin Islands. Trump also said he plans to ask Congress to expedite tax reform efforts in the wake of damages caused by the hurricane. The president earlier posted a link to state information on locations of shelter, road closures, and evacuation routes. Trump approves bill for $15 billion in hurricane aid government funding. The House passed a sweeping package today that authorized billions of dollars for hurricane recovery efforts, raising the de debit limit and funds the government through December with some Republicans opposing the measure after panning top administration officials' efforts to sell the legislation. And that does it for Politics with Riley King. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics with Riley King. Goodbye, everyone.